What to do when Ethernet is connected but no internet. What's up guys? In today's video, we'll be looking at one of the most common internet connectivity issues we've all had. Connecting Ethernet but no internet connection. Ethernet is one of the oldest forms of physical connection among computers. But even with that, we still use Ethernet and even prefer it over wireless connection many years later. This is because it is a simple plug and play that will significantly improve your internet connectivity. Wired connection is less prone to external factors such as interference. As a result, many users prefer Ethernet for large downloads, gaming, and streaming 4K. However, even with Ethernet being more affordable and easy to install, there are headaches when it comes to troubleshooting errors. The following table highlights the most frequent troubleshooting issues with Ethernet. Cause of problem, connected to the wrong network. Solution, turn off Wi-Fi. Faulty network drivers, update the network drivers. Interference from firewall security or other security software. Uninstall any antivirus software, firewalls and or any other related program. Incorrect DNS server or IP address. Check and change your IP address. Troubleshooting Ethernet connected but no internet. Turn off Wi-Fi. The first and most obvious step when troubleshooting Ethernet issues is to turn off Wi-Fi on the device. This way you'll be able to tell if it's working or not. When the device has access to both Ethernet and Wi-Fi, it always gives priority to the wired connection. By turning off the wireless, you're able to confirm that the Ethernet connection is not working. If there's still no connection, check whether Ethernet has been disabled on the device. Go to Windows Settings and open Network Adapter. Check the Ethernet device card name, and if there's a computer icon with an arrow, Ethernet is disabled. Right-click on the device name and click Enabled. Confirm other devices are also not accessing the Internet. Using other laptops or computers, check whether they can access the Internet when connected through a wired connection. If other devices are able to connect, the issue could be with the device's configuration settings. Similarly, if other devices cannot connect, the problem lies in your router or modem. Disconnect and reconnect the Ethernet cable from your networking device, router or modem, and test again. If the issue is resolved, the issue was in the router. Update your device drivers. Faulty or outdated network drivers also cause Ethernet connectivity problems. As a result, always ensure your network card drivers are up to date. Drivers are either updated manually or automatically using third-party apps such as DriverEasy. To update, go to your device manufacturer's website and check for any updates for the network drivers. Download them and try to connect to the internet again. If the issue still persists, move on to the next step. Disable security software. If you find that only one device has a connectivity problem, it could be that the security or antivirus software is causing the interference. In fact, this is the most common cause of faulty wired connection. For instance, research done by The Register in 2017 showed that Avast's free antivirus was preventing many users from internet access. To resolve the problem, simply uninstall the security program or firewall causing the problem. Additionally, disable any third-party apps. It is also recommended that you run a malware scan as there may be a malicious app tampering with connection. Check the IP address settings. To connect to a website, your device uses a DNS server to check the IP address of the visited site. These servers, however, experience issues that make it difficult to access the website using their actual name. Think of it like having a cell phone without a contact list. You can potentially call anybody, but you don't know any number. This means that to resolve the problem, type the website's IP address and check if the page loads. If it does, change your DNS server or flush the DNS cache and the problem will be fixed. Conclusion As we wrap up, it's important to understand that there's no fixed formula for fixing Ethernet issues. By following the above steps, however, the connection should return. But if it does not, contact the internet service provider as the issue may be on their end. With that, we've come to an end of our video. For more informative videos like this, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell for notifications each time we drop a new video. Bye, guys.